Today, we're sending one of our favorite docs to fill in at one of his first jobs. That's a clue. One of his first jobs was making pizza at the pizzeria. Let's get ready for a little advice with your slice. Check it out. Hey, Dr. Phil here. I'm at Caballos on 8th Avenue. This was the first job I ever had, and I have to tell you, I got fired from that job. So I'm hoping Sal's gonna be, I don't know, maybe a little more patient. We'll see. If this is your Ebron. Oh, this is me? And make a Cavallo proud. You do make a pizza still today. I can see that you are very comfortable with the dough. That's absolutely beautiful. How's that for skill, huh? Oh, no, I'm not afraid to get dirty. We absolutely. knocked it out of the park and into the oven. All right, who's next? Dr. Phil. How are you? Hi, how are you doing? Well, can I have a cheese slice, please? Uh, you can have a cheese slice, but you only get it if you take some advice. Advice is exactly what I need. I'm a mother of 12, age range from six weeks to 25. Wait, let me start this over. I thought you said you're a mother of 12? 12. <clears throat> okay, what's your question? The different personalities, attitudes, or what advice would you have for me to be able to accommodate everybody? You want to spread the love? Yes, yeah, spread the love. Girl, it sounds to me like you've been spreading the love a lot <laughs> if you've got 12 children. Here's the deal, seriously. What you have to do is find one thing that you do with each child that you do not do with any of the other 11. Okay. And then they'll say, that's my special thing with mom. That will make a huge difference, I promise. You and your wife are always so happy on TV. I wanted to know what your secret is and what kind of advice you could give me to tell my husband. What's he not doing that you want him to do? Um, cranky sometimes. Towards you or just in general? In general. Come here. This is just between you and I. Okay. Men are out of their depth when it comes to emotions if you put them in a parking lot puddle, okay? <laughs> You gotta put the dots real close together and connect them with a bright red line. Men don't have the same emotional sensitivity as women, so you gotta tell him. So don't just assume, tell him. I'm newly single, and I really want a boyfriend, especially with summer coming. And I meet great men at all these networking events, but I've never asked a guy out. You've never asked a guy out? No. You don't have to just say, you wanna go out with me? Use me as an example. So okay. I'm Phil, just say, hi, I'm Bonnie. Hi, I'm Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. I'm Phil. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Okay, now what would you ask me next? Would you like to share some pizza in the day with me? Yeah, like you mean like right here? Yeah. Damn right, girl. Let's go over here. <laughs> Guys are like spring-loaded, testosterone flowing through their veins. There's no blood. It's just testosterone. Just give them a little bit of an opening and watch what happens. Okay. You will be amazed. So everybody understands what I'm talking about. Turn around and look at that camera. You don't think she will have some takers? <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I've been working here this long. I haven't gotten fired, so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead.